Hello. Hi. Welcome to a new video. Look, this is this is a before. Okay. Um, I have been invited to the Penguin Random House South Africa Media and Trade Event for the last half of 2024. That's happening tonight. So I'm gonna get ready. It's extremely cold. Okay. So this is before. I don't know. It is. It is um just before noon. Okay, um, I have about three hours left before I need to leave because public transport and I need to make sure I have enough time. So I don't know, I'm hoping to get a haircut because look at this, but I don't know if, if that's going to happen. So, yeah, so, um, let's go. I'm going to go get ready. So get ready with me and then let's see what we can see. I'm excited to see... Um, what's happening with Penguin, what's coming up in the next six months, well, five months. <laughs> um, I'm also excited to see some of my books to friends that I haven't seen since last year. The last time, I think, was the book document. Um, I'm hoping I can link it up here. But yes, I'm so excited and i got to go. I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. It is cold. I hope I'm going to look decent even though i'm going to be layered af sorry okay bye see you soon <laughs> the things that i'm gonna pack into my bag for the penguin random house media and trade event this evening um my standard tripod and then my gimbal because i can only get portraits uh with this one and only landscape a book because i'm going by public transport Hand sanitizer, my clicker, uh, my glasses case, a pair of hand thingies, and of course I will be having a power bank and my charger cable and my phone. See you there. I'm just about to jump in the shower and I'm not going to lie to you. Every time I have a book event or something that I have to go to, somebody does something. To, to make me so angry and to spoil my day and to put me on my nerves and my worry levels and my stress levels and it's not fair my tenant it's the 30th of July who is supposed to leave on the 31st of August is now leaving at the end of July so I am out a significant amount of money because he's reneging on his agreement um, if I had my way I wouldn't have tenants the reason I have tenants is so that you know I need the money I help them they help me reneging on your agreement doesn't help me everybody takes me from arsehole and I'm tired so so from now on I, I don't help people I don't do these things and if and if I become a narcissist then people need to know why so, so yeah, um, I need to get out of this mood because I need to attend a penguin event. Penguin event. Bye. Okay, so I'm ready. Um, okay, so no haircut because we're out of time and, and, and stuff. Yeah, so I'm um, calm down a little bit from earlier lol and i'm super excited i'm gonna go see some books to friends that i haven't seen in since the book talk event last year i think um i can't attend every event unfortunately i i can't uh, even all the ones that i'm invited to um life is life so i'm getting ready to go i also have an extra top in my bag because it's cold it is cold. I do hope the inside is warm and I do hope that there's coffee. Okay, let's go. <laughs>
don't know if you can hear me guys but I'm here at the homecoming center in district 6 Cape Town I'm here for the media trade event uh, for Penguin Random House and as you can see there's kind of a lot of people and it's kind of fun um, this venue is kind of interesting I hope I'm gonna get some video so let's see what I can do sorry about the noise there's nothing I can do about that you to tell you about three of our authors who are here tonight and I'm using my position as the CEO of the company to say a little bit about some of the books that I like for the guys who are doing my presentation. It's one of the perks really. Uh, but first I've got to do the business bit, um, a bit of drum banging. We are, Penguin Random House is the biggest publisher in South Africa. It has 25% market share. Hello, kick down! Hello! <laughs> I'm Vis Chetty, that's Morning Bear. Yeah, we, hello. We kind of upgraded, didn't we? Is <laughs> anyone else intimidated? <laughs> I feel like I'm launching the new iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> the, difference is, the difference is we can do something new this time. <laughs> no. uh, I'd like to present the first guest this evening. Uh, he's no stranger to any of us in this room. He's been the face of National Friday for nearly 20 years. People could memorize stuff and they, um, we didn't need to buy books. <laughs> they could just read books in uh, libraries. So, atmosphere. I thought, oh, why am I here? Um, <laughs> Steve spoke about Penguin moving into religion. Uh, so that's obviously how, how they ended up on me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Catholics and Protestants and Islam and Judaism. Uh, I represent South Africa's single biggest religion, which is Braai, <laughs> of course. Now, the fire is the traditional place of gathering. It's, it's warm, it's safe from wild animals, there's food, there's conversation, there's light. Um, and all of us know the atmosphere when people are gathered around such fires, staring into the flames of those fires. Steve alluded to it earlier, weeping becomes... Um, a River is the new collection of poetry by uh, Sipakazi Jonas. A woman gave birth one night in a village. In those days, women delivered their offspring quickly. But this child was so stubborn that she took a week to make her appearance. The village women who assisted in the birthing hut noticed strange unfoldings during the labor. Firstly, the womb waters flowed from mother in a stream that went out of the doorway. The youngest woman was sent to follow and see where the waters led, and she returned to report that the stream had reached the banks of the great river and disappeared. Um, I wanted to tell you about the genre mixing and this collection of poems that's woven together with its own, uh, a modern take on the Etosa, um, it's a Tosa tale, sort of fantastical tale that takes you on adventure. And messing with Shakespeare as well. Then a week ago, 12 girls were suspended at Victoria Girls for racism. Mm -hmm. And stories of racist incidents with principals. And honestly, I was devastated. 32 years. And how little has changed. But the book isn't about that. This collection is about the aftermath. It's living with fragmentation, which I believe is something all of us can relate to. Whether it's between English and Escorts, or English and Afrikaans, or between cultures, but whatever it is, the fragmentation, the displacement, 
it's about reckoning with those parts. It's also about finding a language of rebellion mm. to piece together the fragments of those things that do displace us, to sow ourselves something new. That's the man himself, Ryan Sands. I had the pleasure of meeting him earlier, earlier uh, this evening. Uh, he's probably run more kilometers than I've driven in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. So I don't have any, any notes. I'm gonna win. Um, but yeah, uh, Run Risk Reward is a follow-on from Trailblazer, and I wrote it again with Steve Smith, who does an amazing job at capturing uh, my ramblings and, and puts them into stories that everyone can understand. But yeah, Run Risk Reward, um, yeah, kind of starts um, in 2017. Um, when I won the Western States um, 100 mile trail race, which is to uh, finally uh, tick that goal. Uh, but just before uh, winning Western States, um, I had a, had a son, Max, um, and for me that was um, obviously an incredible um, yeah, just time in, in my life, but for career-wise, pre-max, um, I put a lot of pressure on myself when it ca came to racing and writing the book. I realized just how focused I was at times and like the only thing that mattered was kind of getting in the training, eating and sleeping and recovering. Right, you spoke on highs and lows. This must have been one of the low points. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic now. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say a very special hello to the readers in South Africa. I am Elif Shafar and my new novel is called There Are Rivers in the Sky.
years writing yeah. crime novels and thrillers. Hello, my name is Fatma Saad and I am the author of The Hungry Table Cookbook with you. Hi, my name is Jackie Pamunze, I'm the author of the Bay Series. 